Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Pixelmon update here on the channel. It feels like it's been forever since we've had one, but we are getting into it. We're going to go over all the new Pokemon, new features, new changes in this update. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show, guys. If you guys have been enjoying this stuff on the channel, leave it a like, subscribe. If you do, down link will be in the description down below, and let's get into this. So this is Pixelmon version 9.2.9, also known as Alpha version 9 of Pixelmon from Minecraft version 1.20.2. A little surprised that we're still in 1.20.2 by this point, but I'm sure they are cooking in the background. The developers know exactly what they're doing by this point. So we'll see if maybe after the alpha versions are done, if we go ahead of 1.20.2. Very curious to know about that. But as for new additions, we have added a detextured Gimmigul coin. So yes, Gimmigul is going to be something most likely coming very soon to Pixmon. The coin has been added. The assets are there. If you sneak on the item or hold shift, I should say. A material accidentally dropped by a specific Pokemon. It seems that Gimme Gold treasure and hoard these. So this is an item that will be going forward into the code. It also will have a summary page displaying how many coins you actually have for Gimme Gold once you have that Pokemon. Another thing that has been, I should say, re-added slash fixed is Pokeballs now actually have all their tags showing in recipes correctly. So if I use my just enough items and look at the recipes now, you will see you can actually look up all the different recipes for each item, each Pokeball, lit, each everything, because that was something that was bugged to my knowledge in previous versions of Pixelmon, but that has been fixed and is working once again. Again, make sure you guys have just enough items installed. Otherwise, what are you doing with your lives? The other thing that's been added is the Slippery Ice Block. It actually has a crafting recipe. You can combine, combine blue ice or never melt ice and surround it with blue ice. Sorry, never melt ice surrounded by blue ice or the ice gem and surrounded by blue ice. And you will get yourself some slippery ice, either three or six, depending on what item you use. Not entirely sure what this is going to be used for, but I imagine it might have to do with the gym system. Because slippery ice is something that was in some of the gyms in Pixelmon, from what I remember. Not Pixelmon, uh, the Pokemon games. So it's going to be interesting to see how that goes into play. Or it just could be a cool decoration block you can use. If I place it on the ground over here, you'll see... It is very, oh, it does a weird thing to me. It, it zooms me in and everything. So yeah, it's got its own cool properties and effects. You guys are more than welcome to mess around with that. But let's get into a thing that has been reworked, the Pokemon editor screen. So you guys know this little wand here I use for all my creative videos with Pixamon. But you guys have seen it too, the Pokemon editor. It now has a new interface. So if I right click, you'll now see that there's actually multiple tabs you can actually look at for each Pokemon and work with them. So like you're normally used to seeing, if you edit the Pokemon, all this stuff is, of course, on your screen right here, but you'll see things are a little bit different now. There's a lot more options before you, and it's a lot easier to see some of the options. And you can even adjust the battle stats, ribbons, and the, of course, actual full thing of the Pokemon if you want to copy and paste that to other teams and parties. This is a very useful ability to have, and you can edit this stuff to any degree that you want. Like, let's say I wanted Flamethrower to be a move on this particular iron treads you can give it to him it does give a little line so i'm wondering if it'll actually let me use let me true see really quickly if i go to use yeah it does let me actually use the flamethrower move and everything does work it's very interesting that gave a sort of indicator that that's not a move it normally would have but i do like that that is a feature now with the pokemon editor and you guys are more than welcome to look at all these different options for all your pokemon mess around with it as you so desire let's say i want to add a bunch of quagsire when did it become quagsire it used to be magikarp anyway you're more than welcome to edit the screens, do whatever you want. And of course, if something doesn't work, it'll let you know. A very useful tool. And I'm glad that it is actually getting some love and treatment in the updates coming. So that's really cool. And for anyone wondering, for the NPC editor, I know this has been an issue for a while now. And they are still working on it. Because right now, if you right click, it just says NPC Creator Presents. And nothing is here. So right now, it doesn't do anything. But they are working on it, considering there was a change to that screen. So for anyone wondering... That is still in the works. It's not particularly listed as a patch or anything to my knowledge, but it is something that clearly has made changes. But let's go over the new Pokemon. I put new in quotes because some of these Pokemon were in the 1.16 version. They've made their way to the 1.20 version, but specifically not all of them have. And we actually have some new Pokemon as well. So let's go through this. So Mabastiff and Matchtiff are both been re-added to this new version of Pixelmon in 1.20, which is really nice. We've already seen them before. Group on it, Iron Jugulus, both as well, to my knowledge, have been added in. My memory's a little fuzzy, I forget, but I'm pretty sure I've made guides on these, so they're all added. A new Pokemon, though, Iron Tread, something we have not seen before in Pixelmon. For some reason, I put the statue down, it was turned sideways, same with Iron Hands over here. Both of these incredibly cool Paradox Pokemon making their debut in Pixmon. I'm not entirely sure if I poke... Actually, I'm curious now. 
Pokespawn, Iron... If I summon an Iron Treads, is he going to be always sideways or can he actually move around? No, he moves around. Interesting. I'm not totally sure why the statues were like that. But anyway, yeah, both of them, new Pokemon added in. It doesn't specifically say where they spawn. But if I were a guessing man or a betting man, I would say it's the same as the other Paradox Pokemon. Guides on them coming soon. Do not worry. Um, Iron Valiant making its debut in 1.20, but it was in the 1.16 version, as was Perigraph. So all these Pokemon, I've made guides on my channel if you guys want to check them out. I'll try to remember to have some link to the cards in the top right-hand corner. Otherwise, look them up on my channel if you're curious about the guides. Now, something that has been in the mod for a while now, and has finally gotten an update, let's talk about the spawn changes, and you might already have an idea what is coming. So first, let's talk about... Wild Pokemon encounters after cooking curry now function as in the mainline game. So if you guys don't know, curry is an item that you can actually make in Pixelmon. There's multiple variations of it and different types you can work with. I recommend looking into this if you are going to hunt for these new Pikachu because guess what? That's how you get them now. Several new spawn conditions have been added so that different flavors can have distinct spawns for the curry. Most Pokemon species can now be found via the curry in different normal biomes throughout rarities have been adjust as well, adjusted as well for the standard of spawning values. And finally, costumed Pikachu now have a proper method of being obtained with, for, with different forms associated with different flavors of the curry. So, Rockstar Pikachu will now spawn if you are using the spicy curry. The Ballet Pikachu will now spawn if you use the dry curry. The Popstar Pikachu will now spawn if you use the Sweet Curry. The PhD Pikachu will now spawn if you use the Bitter Curry. And the Libre Pikachu Libre is the Sour Curry. So if you make the different curries in Pixelmon, you now have a chance of encountering one of these five Pikachu. Keep in mind, other than Libre, these all have been in the mod for a while now. They just have never been really obtainable. Pikachu Libre was actually added in the most recent version of Pixelmon, I believe the last one. So it's amazing now that all these have proper spawning conditions. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments, would you prefer me to make new guides on these Pikachu? I made one on Pikachu Libre, but the others I have not. I'd be willing to, but let me know if you guys want me to make guides on these. Anyway, that's pretty much it for in terms of spawning. There is a bunch of changes, data pack changes, config changes, and keybinds. I'll let you guys read up on that. I always have a link in the description to the website where they post all this update stuff. I'm not going to go over all the new changes in the sense of the code and stuff but i'll let you guys look at that yourselves otherwise that is going to do it for this new brand new pixelmon update if you guys did enjoy consider as always leaving me a like on this video subscribing if you're new let me know in the comments down below which pokemon you're excited to be finally working with the pixelmon of the new pokemon which pokemon are you wondering why didn't actually make the jump to 1.20 that are still 1.16 there is a few of them like iron bundles for example I'm not entirely sure. Actually, before I end this off, let me just try this. So, Pokespawn, Iron. If I want to try Iron Bundle, for example, would it let me? Okay, so it does spawn it in. It just wasn't listed as added into this update. So, I don't know. I might be wrong because it has been a minute since I've covered this mod. But some of these Pokemon that are in the 1.16 version are not in the 1.20 version. But someone can clarify that for me in the comments down below. Feel free to do so. Otherwise, I hope to see you all in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe and goodbye.